Congress received. The last place value view is five or more by one. You will increase the place to the left. You see is raised by one, and that's a key to round to the ten spot. It rounds up to nine. It's that easy. Remember the trick they say. If it's five or above, you round up the next place value. You give that next number a shove. If it is four or below, you let it go. The last place value does not show. The next less spot stays the same though. The students don't worry. Hi everyone, have a nice day to all of you. Today I'm gonna teach you how to round off to the nearest hundred. Last time you have learned already about place value. So rounding up numbers are 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Go to the next biggest number. Rounding down numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. It means stay the same. For example, 596. 6 is in what's place, 9 is in tenths place, and 5 is in hundred place. When you round off to the nearest hundred, you should always look at the tenths place. So 9 is in tenths place, and I know that 9 is a rounding up number. So it's gonna add 1 to 5, and 5 becomes 6. Then 9 and 6 turn to 0. It's gonna be 600. Another example, 318. 8 is in 1's place, 1 is in 10's place, and 3 is in 100's place. As I told you, when you round off to the nearest 100, you should always look at 10's place. 1 is a rounding down number. It cannot add 1 to 3. So what is going to happen? 3 is still the same. Then 1 and 8 turn to 0 and it's gonna be 300 still. So I'm gonna write here 300. Pretty easy. Let's do this. Now remember we're rounding to the nearest 100. Number 1, 683. So I underline the hundred place, which is six. I'm looking at the tens place, which is eight. So eight is rounding up number. So it has power to push the six up. Then I'll take eight and three and turn to zero. So it becomes 700. Number two. 445 again I underline the hundred place and I'm looking at the tens place which is 4 so 4 is rounding down number it has no power to push the 4 to go up so I'll take 4 and 5 and turn to 0 so it will remain 400. Number three, 210. So two is in 100 place and one is in tens place. So one is rounding down number. It has no power to push the two to go up. So one and zero 
turn to zero and it will remain 200. Number four, 164. One is in hundred place and six is in tens place. Since six is a rounding up number, so it has power to push the one to go up. So I'll take six and four, then turn to zero and it will become 200. Number five. 939 so I underline the 10 the hundred place which is 9 and I'm looking at the tens place which is number 3 so I know that number 3 is a rounding down number so it has no power to push the 9 to go up so I'll take 3 and 9 then turn to zero and it remains 900 number six 691 so i underline six because it's in hundred place and i'm looking at number nine nine is in rounding up number so it has power to push six to go up so nine and one turn to zero and it becomes seven hundred number seven nine hundred and eighty seven so nine hundred is in hundred place and 8 is in tens place and I know that 8 is a rounding up number so it has power to push 9 then I'll take 8 and 7 then turn to 0 so it will become 1000 now number 8 2426 Right, so again, I'm looking at the tens number or tens place, which is 2, and hundred place, which is 4. Since 2 is a rounding down number, so it has no power to push 4 to go up. So it will remain 400. So I'll write 2,400 number nine five thousand four hundred and eighty one four is in hundred place and eight is in tens place i know that eight is a rounding up number so it has power to push the four to go up now eight and one turn to zero at, and it will becomes 5,500. Now it's your turn. Good luck.